hundreds of thousands of packages roll through the DHL facility at our airport while you're sleeping. Any one could be carrying something illegal. It's up to the Customs and Border Protection to spot it and stop it. From x-ray scans to drug sniffing dogs, they have tremendous technology at their fingertips. Shoots a laser into the substance. You don't even have to open the bag to get to that chemical. You can shoot through the bag. This tool allows them to check any substance against a database of 14,000 chemicals in seconds. We watch them stop everything from synthetic stimulants to chemicals that work like a date rape drug. All wind up in the cage, waiting to be destroyed. Surprisingly, they see more steroids than anything else. These are steroids. So this yeah. is uh, testosterone, and this is what is this? Boldenone. Yeah. Boldenone yeah. undesilinate. So it's just it's, yeah. it's all anabolic steroids. It's about three o'clock in the morning here at the DHL facility at CVG. We're kind of behind the scenes in a spot where a lot of people don't get a chance to go. Two hundred thousand packages a night might come through this, and it is a constant cat and mouse game between the Customs and Border Protection and the people who might be trying to bring illicit substances into the U.S. This giant box looks suspicious, but it's full of mint, not weed. It gets a pass. These jerseys and purses might look legit, but they're counterfeit. From knockoff Air Jordans to fake makeup, Customs showed us piles of illegal products, and that doesn't count the stuff that's hidden. And you see all the little green cakes, all nice. And you push it back. And deep inside are fresh guava, which are require certain paperwork. From undocumented fruit buried in a box to what looks like buried treasure, we saw it all. These are coins that somebody dredged up uh, somewhere in Europe. We don't know exactly where, but they're probably Syrian or Roman. We just have to determine whether they're allowed into the country or not smuggled items. That one's clear, so it's good to go. Thanks to new technology, most packages are checked and cleared within 24 hours. It's a constant struggle to stay one step ahead. They got countless dollars and countless amount of time to, to make it happen because that's the source of their income, right? So they're going to make it work or they're going to try and make it work anyway. It's not just about keeping things like synthetic drugs or knockoff gym shoes out of the country. For Customs and Border Protection, it's about cutting off the flow of money, too. From criminals to terrorist organizations, they look at smuggling as a low-risk way to make money for other operations. Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.